What is out of play? What is an extended fence? This video will answer both of those questions as well as how to rule when a ball goes out of play on an overthrow or batted ball. First, it's important to note that the field of play needs to be an entirely closed area. While this may not always mean that a fence goes around the entire baseball field, it does mean that there needs to be at least an imaginary fence or line around which the baseball field is contained. The first place which is always closed is the backstop. Every field has a backstop which may also extend past the dugouts. This is a very easy place to know that that is the edge of field of play and that is a closed area. If the ball goes through, under, or over the fence, it's out of play and the ball will be called dead. The next place that you'll need to make sure it's closed off is the line extending down past the dugouts or from the backstop, depending on where the backstop ends. You'll have an imaginary fence running down the left and right sides of the field in order to signal that is out of play. If the ball crosses that imaginary fence, it will be out of play and the ball will be ruled dead. The next place is the outfield. Most fields have some sort of outfield fence, but there's a few issues which can be posed. Sometimes the outfield fence stops at the fair and foul lines. There may be a place of extended play that is in foul territory that the outfield fence does not cover. Make sure that you extend the outfield fence so that it and the extended fence past the backstop meet together. You may also have gaps or holes in the outfield fence. Make sure you discuss this in the pregame meeting with the coaches since the ball that goes through an outfield fence will be dead and the runners will be recorded accordingly. On many little league fields, however, you may be faced with a situation in which there's no outfield fence at all. What do you do when this is the case? The simple answer is that it depends. On some of these fields, there's a very large area of flat, grassy space that wouldn't be unsafe for a player to venture into to make a play. All of this area can be ruled in play. You might be in a place where that area is so large that a ball is never reasonably going to exit that area. All of this can be ruled in play and there's no need to discuss what happens if a ball goes past it. However, there may be times when you have obstacles in the outfield that you need to signal out of play. These include trees, bicycle paths, walking paths, or even parking lots. Make sure that these are marked as out of play so that a player does not venture into these things and get injured. Once again, player safety is always a priority, and one of the reasons that an out of play area exists is to keep players from going into areas that might get them injured. We've established where the out of play areas are and danger areas that you need to make sure you establish before the game, but what do you rule when a ball actually goes out of play? The first scenario is that you have a batted ball which lands out of play. This will be ruled as a regular foul ball. The second scenario is overthrows. Overthrows are quite common and so it's important to know the rules of what happens when it's thrown out of play. When a ball is thrown from the pitching rubber out of play, each runner will be awarded one base and the ball will be declared dead. If this is on a pitch, then the throw will be counted as a ball and each runner will get one base. For all other throws, the runners will be rewarded two bases. This includes the infield and outfield. As long as it's not thrown from the pitching rubber and the ball ends up out of play, each runner will be awarded two bases. The final scenario is on a catch. What happens when a player catches the ball and then steps out of play? As long as the player makes the catch while in the field of play, if they fall into the dugout or out of play, the catch will still be ruled an out. On a fly ball that is caught by a fielder who ends up out of play, as long as the fielder is within the field of play when he makes the catch and before he exits the field of play, the ball will still be ruled an out. Hopefully this video is helpful for you in understanding the field of play and how to rule on overthrows and catches that enter and exit the baseball field.